Oh, good evening, my lords. My ladies. Seven blessings to you. You didn't even have an accent. Uh, I did. You said seven blessings to you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you? I thought I had an accent. I tried. Okay, so every time Game of Thrones starts, I instantly feel so nervous because... Because who, who, what's going to happen? I don't know. They can, well, yeah. they can put anyone off. I'm still on that whole I hope I follow along thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be sitting here like lost. I feel like I'm doing okay. I would say the dumbest Game of Thrones thing we did was we thought it was Winterville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was a lot being thrown at us in that first season. I know. I was but... still trying to figure out like what, like, you know, what all these things were, like Hand of the King and all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I called, uh, what did I call Tywin? Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> I called him Tyrone Lannister. We, we just called Masande last time Melissa, so we're still not good with the names. Too I nervous. A seal for you. Too I nervous. A seal for you. To keep your ungrateful head on your ungrateful neck a little while longer. <laughs> Sorry, what am I grateful for? <laughs> the opportunity to live and die at the wall as punishment for a crime I did not commit. You threw your life away. You threw it away. It's not a joke. You understand that, don't you? Of course it's a joke. Just not a very funny one. You think he's going to fight Jamie for him? Mm. I couldn't listen to I her. wouldn't pick Jamie. Standing there telling her lies. You fell in love with a whore. Fell in love with a whore. And I was stupid enough to think that she had fallen in love with me. Aww. <laughs> That deal you made, it was everything Father wanted. He gets you back as his heir, and he ships me off to Castle Black, out of sight at last. It felt good to take that from him. Willing mm. to sacrifice any of us? Not you! You're the golden son! You could kill a king, lose a hand, your own sister, you'll always be the golden son. Dang, yeah. <laughs> He's done a lot. I'm the last friend you've got. That is true, too. At least I got to tell them what they really are. Yes, brilliant speech. They'll be talking about it for days to come. <laughs> I thought you were a realist. Didn't realize you'd die for pride. Don't give up on me just yet. I survived one trial by combat, even though you weren't there to save me. I can't save you this time. Thank you, Bron. Is Bron gonna save him? My training has proved that I can't beat a stable boy with my left hand. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> <laughs> even if you lose, imagine the look on Father's face when you fall. <laughs> Our family name snuffed out with a single swing of the sword. It is tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Ron fought for me once, he'll do it again. If he wins, I expect I'll be in his debt for the rest of my life. If he wins? Who does Cersei plan on naming as a champion? I hope it's Samarin Trant. I'd enjoy watching Braun disembowel that pompous child beater. No, not Samarin. Who's it gonna be? The problem is, I don't know who that is, because, like, recasts and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's who Cersei's picking. <laughs> Oh, so it's welcome to the capital. It's in the mountain. That's who I was thinking it was, but but he was a different guy. They like said in the comments season. that he gets recast, though. They said he gets recasted like all the time. Right. Well, I didn't want to say the mountain because I thought I was about to be dead wrong. Yeah. Well, I don't. I didn't know either. But when she said, "Does she say Sir Gregor?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be food. Could be soldiers. See, it's probably symbolic that she is a white horse and he is a black horse, mm -hmm. just like a gladiator. Or maybe black and white horses are just common. <laughs> you know. I don't know. But yeah, you're probably right. You shouldn't be sitting out here like this. Tried to walk back to me hut. Had too much. Then I remember they burnt me hut down. Mm. Who were they? I stopped asking a while ago. An ominous day. That's not going to get better. Haven't you had enough? I know. Time to go. Take matters into my own hands. The thought has occurred to me. So why go on? Habit. Nothing could be worse than this. Maybe nothing is worse than this. Nothing isn't better or worse than anything. Nothing is just nothing. Who are you? My name's Aya. Aya Stark. You her father? Her captor. <laughs> Bringing her to her aunt for ransom. The fair exchange. <laughs> He's dying, so they're just telling him the truth. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I just had to use the chamber <laughs> pot. <laughs> the chamber pot. Shay was in there emptying it. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Because I don't like her right now. Yeah, I don't like her either. We're like, not what besties. Is, what is up with you? Always held to the notion of fair exchange in all my dealings. You give me, I give you. So he was an honest man, huh? Yeah, a balance. No balance anymore. Could I have a drink? Dying is thirsty work. That's like nice of them. Like, wish you were wine. So do I. Mmm. <laughs> That was the put him out of his misery, though. Yeah, right? that was a beautiful moment in a way. Like, it was That's so. Where the heart is. Man. That's how you kill a man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you 
doing? There's a price on your head. If that's what the king does when you tell me to f off. The king's dead. He drank poison wine at his own wedding. The bounty on you is for killing Lannister soldiers. A hundred silver stakes. And you thought you were going to collect it. <laughs> Didn't think very hard, did you? You were Yoren's prisoners when he was taking me to the war. Yeah, he looks familiar. This day's really not working out the way you planned. He on your little list. He can't be. <laughs> I don't know his name. What's your name? <laughs> Rouge. Thank you. You're stupid. <laughs> oh! Is that where the heart is? <laughs> You're learning. Oh. Mmm, that guy was really dumb. That's our Arya. <laughs> How does anyone in this world live past the age of like 23? <laughs> How do they live to be 12? They just walk up and stab you right in the chest. No problem. Lord Snow. I feel like that he's trolling him when he says that. This is no place for wild beasts. Lock him away. Or I'll let Hob throw him in tonight's stew. Go ahead and try. Come on, ghost. Mance's army was closing in on Craster's Keep when we left. We saw their campfires from Osric's Hill. They'll reach the wall before the next full moon. Surprised you didn't ride over and say hello. The king beyond the wall is your old friend, isn't he? We need to prepare. We've been preparing. We should seal the tunnel. Aye. Right. Plug it with rocks and ice. Flood it and let it freeze. And how would we range north? We wouldn't. Cowards! You would cut off our legs. Look out our eyes. Leave us cowering behind the wall, hoping for the storm to pass. We can't defend the gate against 100,000 men. This castle has stood for thousands of years. The Night's Watch has defended her for thousands of years. And in all those centuries, we have never sealed the tunnel. Have you ever seen Yenta, a giant? You came on. I have. The tunnel's gate won't stop them. The bars on those gates are four inches thick, cold rolled steel. And they won't stop them. Remind me which order you belong to, Lord Snow. The stewards. Are the stewards responsible for maintaining the tunnel? No. Who would that be? You're so passive aggressive. Goodness gracious. The builders. Ah, the builders. Lord Snow here recommends sealing the tunnel, leaving us unable to carry out our duties as sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Do you agree with him? <laughs> He's like, a little bit. No. Man, you felt obligated Given to say no. knowledge of the Wildling army, Lord Snow, you and Tarly will take night duties atop the wall until the full moon. Moving Disrespectful, on. bro. <laughs> He's like, dang it. <laughs> He's dressed crazy. But doesn't he have like a... My lord. Why do you dress like this? I don't know. He's like, with the dress? You have new clothes. He got paid up, huh? Oh. Uh, Gloves are dough skin. I've been a bit busy. Doing what? Buying new clothes. My lonesome bachelor days are over. I'm to wed Lollis Stokeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Lollis Stokeworth. She doesn't strike me as your sort of girl. I wouldn't say I have a single sort of girl. She's dim-witted. If I wanted wits, I'd marry you. When my <laughs> sister arranged this love match, did she mention that Lollis has an older sister? Felice. Aye, I didn't know about the older sister. Then you understand the rules of inheritance. Felice is 40 in Baron. She still gets Castle Stokeworth when her father dies. She does. Unless she happens to perish before her father, then Lollis gets the castle. Oh. Uh oh. Ladies fall from their horses and snap their pretty necks all the time. You and my oh. sister deserve each other. Weren't they married in real life? Come here. That's what they him. say, yeah. And they, they don't can be they, scenes together. They don't stand each other or whatever. You once said, if anyone ever asked me to sell you out, you'd double their price. Is it two wives you want all two castles? One of each you do. If you want me to kill the mountain for you, it better be a damn big castle. I would be too short on costs at the moment, but I can offer you gold in gratitude. I have gold. What can I buy with gratitude? You might be surprised. A Lannister always pays his debts. Your sister's a Lannister too. My wife is heir to Winterfell. If I emerge from this with my head still on my shoulders, I may one day rule the North in her name. I could carve you out a big piece of it. If and may and could. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody cold up north. <laughs> Lollis is soft and warm and close. Does he frighten you so much? I'd be a bloody fool if he didn't frighten me. He's freakish big and freakish strong. And quicker than you'd expect for a man of that size. He looks dumb though, don't he? Who? The mountain. So tired of hacking at me. He drops I'm not going to say it. Get him off his feet. He might challenge me up. But one misstep and I'm dead. Why should I risk it? Because you're my friend. Aye, I'm your friend. And when have you ever risked your life for me? In the Blackwater, he did it for everybody. But I guess so did Ron. Yeah, they're like even on that. Pampered little shit that you are. I just like myself more. I understand. And he did it for I himself, because his head would have been had. Why are you sorry? Because you're an evil bastard with no conscience and no heart? That's what I liked about you in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that just broke my heart. We had some good days together. Yes, we did. Oh my gosh, I feel like no one's gonna fight for him. 
For Tyrion? Yes, because that's all. That's what who I do. thought. I suppose I'll have to kill the mountain myself. Let's go, Tyrion. I'll back you, my boy. For a great song. I hope to hear them sing it one day. Oh my gosh. Babe, what if he does? What if he kills the mountain? I just don't see it happening. <sighs> yeah, man, I feel so bad for Tyrion. Poor dude. How did you get in here? Your door is well guarded. It's your window is not. Creepy. He's got flowers. I swam to an island a mile offshore for these. These are my private quarters. If I want you here, I will summon you. Forgive me, my queen. I, I live to serve you. Tell me why you're here. Came to ask a favor. I only have two talents in this world. War and women. You are staying here in Marine to rule. Here in Marine, I cannot pursue my talents. I've ordered the Second Sons to patrol the streets to stop the revenge killing. You've ordered us to be night. Patrol. And as for women, there are thousands in Marine you can pursue. There's only one, and she does not want me. You swore me your sword. My sword is yours till the day I die. So my man's trying to jump the ladder to, to kingdomhood, and, and patrol I know, the right? Streets. He's swearing the wrong sword. Streets. Send me to kill your enemies. Any enemy. Anywhere. Let me do what I do best. Was he like a bounty hunter? He wants to be. That's his talent. Do what you do best. Take off your clothes. Well, there you go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, though. I wasn't either. I was really not expecting that. When she says that, you think he'll leave on the scarf? <laughs> nah, she wants to pull on it. Where's Dora? Come in, my queen. I didn't mean to disturb you, my lady. You could never disturb me. I just wanted to speak with you before we left. Could you bring me that vial over there? <laughs> Cruella de Vil over here. Blue one. Jeez. A blue vial? No, no, no. Not that one. You don't even want to touch that one. That's the one. I would be like, I didn't mean to knock. When I looked into the flames this morning, the Lord spoke to me. He said, tonight, you will have your last good bath in a long while. Make it count. So you about to stink for a minute? A joke. Not a very good one, I'm afraid. That joke was oh, terrible. <laughs> Humor isn't my strength. <laughs> because most jokes are lies. This is she's married to Stannis. <laughs> if the lies, my lady, aren't they best avoided? Most of these powders and potions, lies, deceptions to make men think they witnessed our Lord's power. Once they step into his light, they will see the lie for what it was. A trick that led them to the truth. And a drop of this in any man's wine will drive them wild with lust. Did you use it with Stannis? No. <laughs> she's like, dang it. <laughs> Don't be upset. Men never crave what they already have. It's only flesh. That needs what it needs. I want to slap no, the tar out of her. Service of the Lord can ever be called a sin. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Thank lady. God every day for bringing you to us. And Stannis to you. He wants to bring Shireen with us. I think that would be ill-advised. I don't know if I doubt his real or is simply meant to spite me, but whichever the case, she should stay home. I kind of don't know where they're I going. <laughs> we'll find out. That is impossible. Why? You don't need powders and potions, my queen. You are strong enough to look into the Lord's light and see his truth for yourself. Tell us what you see. However harsh it is, however hard for us to understand. When we set sail, your daughter must be with us. Why? The Lord needs her. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't whoa, like whoa. the way that sounds, man. I might have to hop off Team Stannis hard. Jorah the Andal. What's up with that? Yeah, to see our queen. She's in a good mood. That means he's a Westerosi, right? If he's an Andal. Oh, Jorah's, in, Jorah's mad low key. Jeez, Jorah. Yeah, because he's like up in the morning. I mean, he's like, I will never leave her side quotes. again. <laughs> Later than some. Passive aggressive. <laughs> you neither approve nor trust. Why would I? The man's a cell sword. Didn't you fight for the Golden Company before pledging your sword to my brother? I did. I trust you. Dario Naharis killed his captains. How could you ever have faith in a man like that? I could never have faith in a man like Dario. That's why I've sent him and the second sons to retake Yunkai. You have? I have. Without you there to rule Khaleesi, I fear the masters will simply bide their time, wait for the invaders to leave and reassert control. That is why I've ordered Dario to execute every master in Yunkai. The masters tear babies from their mother's arms. They mutilate little boys by the thousands. They treat men like beasts, as you said yourself. Herding the masters into pens and slaughtering them by the thousands is also treating men like beasts. The slaves you free, brutality is all they've ever known. If you want them to know something else, you'll have to show it to them. And repay the slavers with what? Kindness? A fine? A stern warning. Tempting to see your enemies as evil. All of them. But there's good and evil on both sides in every war ever fought. Let the priests argue over good and evil. Slavery is real. I sold men into slavery, Khaleesi. And now you are helping me show them to freedom. I wouldn't be here to help you if Ned Stark had done to me what you want to do to the masters of Yunkai. Oh, wow. I mean, that's just obvious logic. 
The man who came to me the other day about burying his father. His Darzul Lorak. He will accompany the second sons and serve as my ambassador to Yunkai. He will tell the masters what has happened in Marine. They can live in my new world or they can die in their old one. Go and catch Daria before he leaves. Tell him I changed my mind. Well, I know one thing's for sure. Things can't stay the same. Right, but that was a good point that he made about Ned, though, because, yeah, if he could have killed him for slavery, too. Tell him you changed my mind. He said, yeah, alpha male move right there. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> What? You're doing it wrong. <laughs> you I just love that. that horrible bit there. Why that sounds like you playing Rocket League? <laughs> no, it doesn't at all. <laughs> I know you don't like fire, but if you don't do it right, no fire. It'll only take a second. It won't hurt that much. No Whoa. fire. He's for real, Arya. You see a scar? Shut up about it. <laughs> Shut up about everything. <laughs> no rewards worth this much trouble. We should never lay eyes on you. But then she'd be dead, bro. You say your brother gave you that sword. My brother gave me this. Pressed me to the fire like I was a nice juicy mutton chop. Thought I stole one of his toys. I didn't steal it. I was just playing with it. <laughs> Childhood trauma. Pain was bad. Smell was worse. But the worst thing was that it was my brother who did it. My father who protected him. Told everyone my bedding caught fire. You think you're on your own. Let me wash it out and help you sew it up at least. Aww. Man, that'd be tough. Imagine your dad. Oh, yeah, his bedding caught fire. Knowing he did it maliciously. Right, while his brother's sitting there smirking about it. But I guess this is kind of hyping up the mountain that scares me for Tyrion. Ugh. Bit of comfort never hurt anyone. I think we can treat ourselves to a feather bed for the night and a hot meal not cooked by you. Oh. Good more, my lady. Don't start expecting silk underclothes. Not working for your former lord any longer. Yes, my lady. Oh, get drunk. Yeah, you don't work for Tyrion anymore. Can I get your kidney pie is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot pie. Do my best. A good kidney pie is all about the ingredients. Oh, he Flour, loves talking lard, about pie. Water, <laughs> eggs, milk, and the meat. Peace time or not. Getting your hands on a good bottom round steak and Carl's kidneys is not easy. He's like a little Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I know. He's so passionate. <laughs> he started on the gravy. Very difficult to get right. See, a lot of people give up on the gravy. And not <laughs> give up on the gravy. No gravy, no pie. That's and true. That? Nice armor. You a knight? <laughs> Basically. No. People with armor is usually knights. In King's Landing, though, aren't you? From there myself, originally. Flea boss and born and bred. We're looking for someone. Someone in particular? Maybe they came in here. Sons of Stark, but she may be using a different name. Starks. That's crazy. I know. Is he going to say he knows Arya or not? What, like them lot from Winterhell? <laughs> Winterville, bro. No, nah, ain't saying anyone like that. Oh, there was all traitors. Don't need no traitors in here. I Is he protecting her? Their mother, Captain Stark. <laughs> He's protecting Arya. Mm -hmm. Swore to her I'd bring her daughters home. Sure, I can't get you a bit more kidney pie. Isn't that like a beautiful spot to like cook pies though? Mm -hmm. Like, geez. He's, I'm, I'm kind of happy for him because he doesn't have to be on the road with all that craziness. He's not built for it. <laughs> it's nothing, my lady. You wouldn't be screwing your face up like that if it was nothing. I don't want to offend my lady. Truly, I don't. You're not interesting enough to be offensive. The Lannisters want Lady Sansa. The Lannisters have money. I don't think we should be telling people we're searching for Lady Sansa. Dang, Pod. Some good advice, though. She took it. Did you see that? Can I have a word? What about? Not kidney pie. Mm -hmm. You seem like a proper lady. You know, someone who could be trusted. Never met no Sansa Stark. But I know her sister. Are you? Let's go, hot pie. Mm -hmm. No one's seen Arya Stark since her father was beheaded. She's presumed dead. She went when I last spoke to her. What was that? Heading up north for the Night's Watch. She was all dressed up as a boy. Well, like your ladyship, only without the armor. Going by the name Arry. The Lannisters took us prisoner. We escaped. And the Brotherhood took us prisoner. They sold me to the innkeep. They were going to sell Arya to her mother at Riverrun, along with another prisoner. Big ugly fella. Foul mouth and a face like a half-burnt ham. <laughs> Not friendly. The hound. Yeah, that's the one. Look, if, if you find him, could you give her this? This one turned out better. Oh, that was so sweet. And it looks so much better this time. Yeah. Um, you were saying? It Ooh. was good advice, though. But it still was good advice, yeah. Father's dead. Grandfather's dead. Walder Frey is singing Lord of River Run. Brotherhood isn't going to River Run. I'll take it to the Eerie, my lady. Why the Eerie? Her aunt, Lysa Arryn, Captain Stark's sister. She's Arya's last living relative with money. She hates the Lannister. Lord Tyrion made sure I knew which house married which and who hated who. Sansa, what a good squire. <laughs> you sure about this? Dang, <laughs> it's a fork in the road. <laughs> I wish there was a sign. Right. That said the eerie and not the eerie. Maybe they do that so people that aren't from there don't know. You know what I mean? Be careful, Tyrion. <laughs> Imagined you'd be back at the brothel at this hour. Cersei approached me. We spoke a great deal about her daughter. How worried your sister is about her. She was trying very hard to pretend she had not come to sway me against you. Making honest feelings do dishonest work is one of her many gifts. It was difficult for her to hide her true intentions. It is rare 
to meet a Lannister who shares my enthusiasm for dead Lannisters. <laughs> <laughs> she desperately wants to see you killed. She didn't need to bother you. It looks as though I've taken care of that myself. The joy she will feel when my head leaves my neck. She's wanted this for a long time. Yes, I know. We met, you and I, many years ago. I think I would have remembered that. You had just been born. Our father brought me and my sister Elia with him on a visit to Casterly Rock. My first time away from Dorne. I didn't like anything about the rock. Not the food, <laughs> not the weather, not your accents, nothing. <sighs> he made sure to throw that in. <laughs> but the biggest disappointment, you. Aww. You and my family have more in common than you might admit. The whole way from Dorne, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. That is so jacked up, man. Of his body, tail between his legs, claws, one red eye. The privates of both a girl and a boy. That would have made things so much easier. When we met your sister, she promised she would show you to us. Every day we would ask, every day she would say, soon. Then she and your brother took us to your nursery and she unveiled the free. Your head was a bit large, your arms and legs were a bit small, but no claw, no red eye, no tail between your legs, just a tiny pink... We didn't try to hide <laughs> our disappointment. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. Oh, so he looked normal? And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little so hard I thought she might pull it off until mm. your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. He should not have lived this long. Wow. Sooner or later, Thessie always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice for my sister and her children. If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. I disagree. I've come to the perfect place. I want to bring those who have wronged me to justice. And all those who have wronged me are right here. I will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane, who killed my sister's children. And then with their blood still on his hand before killing her too. So what you saying, big dog? I will be your child. Yes. I hope he's a good fighter. I don't know. <laughs> That's so crazy. Let's go, so he's going to go fight the mountain? It is, oh, I thought it was going to be Tyrion. I thought Tyrion's about to kill the mountain and I was going to start not believing the show that much. No, Joel Brynn is. Oh. Whoa, this is shot so beautifully. You think she's just happy because it's like her home? Because it's like North feeling? Yeah, like the snow. Aww. She's like a husky. She didn't really have like a childhood, man. She pretty much like got just shipped off to King's Landing to see a bunch of traumatic stuff. And this kid's just been breastfed. Hello, Robin. For way too long. What are you doing? I'm building my home, Winterfell. What did you leave? It's a long story. I stay here in Erie. Mother says it's dangerous on the road, and I have to keep myself safe. I'm the Lord of the Vale, and the Lord of the Vale is a very important person. Yes, you certainly are. When will you go back? Probably never. My family doesn't live there anymore, and someone burned it down. Does Winterfell have a moon door? No, I'm afraid not. It's not high up in the mountains, it's down on the ground. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> How do you make people fly? We don't. What do you do with all the bad people? People you don't like? I never did anything with them at all. I'm the Lord of the Vale. When I grow up, I'll be able to fly anybody who bothers me. Or you. <laughs> when we get married, tell me if you don't like somebody, and then we can bring them back here and whoosh! Right through the moon door. I like the sound of that. Let's put a moon door in your Winterfell. It can go in here, in this big be tower. Be careful! You've ruined it, and I'm going to have to rebuild the whole I thing. I didn't ruin it. You did. It was already ruined because it didn't have a moon door. It didn't ruin it! Dang! <laughs> They're both kind of... Oh! oh. <laughs> Why does she do that? I'm sorry, I... That's yeah, not good. good. Littlefinger's gonna have to defend yes. her, and it's gonna make him look so, terrible. He shouldn't have done that. No, his mother should have. Consider it a step in the right direction. He's sitting there agreeing. <laughs> Let me worry about Aunt Liza. Look, her hand hurts. Let's see it again. If you want to build a better home, first you must demolish the old one. That's why he likes all these why ruined you places. Really Joffrey, tell me why. I loved your mother more than you could ever know. In a better world, one where love could overcome strength and duty, you might have been my child. Creepy as hell. But like, hell, not at all, bro. though. That's not how that would have worked. <laughs> So he's saying, like, if the universe was right, I would be your dad in a sense, because we would have been together. Mm -hmm. You're more beautiful than she ever was. No, don't do it, little finger. <laughs> Pedo oh, finger. <gasps> oh, no. Ah! No, this is so bad. This is so bad. 
Oh my God. I'm genuine. Bro, I am shocked right now. You are gross, bro. I mean, I know that's just the norm right I now. I feel like he did that to, to be manipulative. Yeah, though. he is. Yeah, 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 for sure. It wasn't because he like wants that, though. He knew that she was looking. He's not stupid. You wanted to see me out nicer? She's next to that door. Come here, Sansa. Uh-uh, I'll be like, let's talk right here, you know, ne next to the door. After I just slapped your son up. Do you know how far the fall is? No. Neither do I, precisely. Hundreds of feet. It's fascinating. What happens to bodies when they hit the rocks from such a height? The impact breaks them right apart, like eggs dropped on the floor. I know what you did. I I'm so sorry, Aunt Lysa. I never should have hit Robin, I know it. You kissed Peter! I didn't! You don't understand! I saw you! Oh! You can't lie to me because I saw it with my own oh, eyes! Oh, she's crazy. Kissed me, I pulled a liar! Oh, oh my god, Sansa, you gotta push her down there. Oh my god, oh my god. My father, my husband, my sister, they all stood between us and now they're all dead. That's what happens to people who stand between Peter and me. Look down, look down, look down. Lisa! Let her go. You want her? Let her go. She's just like her mother. She'll never love you. I lied for you. I killed for you. Why did you bring her here? Why? This her is away. twisted. Let her go, Lisa. Oh my gosh. Thank God. Oh, my sweet wife. My sweet, silly wife. Poor Sansa, man. Yeah, this is so traumatic for her, dude. I have only loved one woman. It ain't my you. Life. <laughs> she, she thinks it is. Your sister. <laughs> he pushed her in the hole, bro. Oh my what? gosh, Littlefinger's crazy. He is the craziest person in this whole stuff. I'm an idiot. I'm sitting there watching this whole thing unfold, and I didn't even think Littlefinger was about to do that. Me either. Like, oh my gosh. Because, I known. because no, the reason why is because she, he's like, she's like in charge of that whole thing. Well, that's exactly what I'm sitting there thinking. Like, there's just no way he'd be so bold. But he's bold, man. That guy is. Holy cow, guys. So, man, that was. What was that, episode seven? Mm -hmm. Episode seven. So basically, man, the biggest the biggest takeaway from this is Littlefinger is just the most conniving, manipulative, on the spot, rooting, shooting, pulling from the hip, freaking dude you'll ever meet. And that man's crazy. There is a new order. Uh, what's the little boy's name? Robin. Mm -hmm. He is gonna just be. What's gonna happen to him? Are they gonna have to throw him out the moon? Well, door? you know what's crazy is Littlefinger married Liza like at a perfect time. Remember, she was like. But she oh. wanted to do it, remember? He convinced her to think, like, let's get married today, like, right now. So they got married immediately. So, like, that's Littlefingers now, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's Robins. It's Littlefingers. And people don't really care about this, you know, this, the semantics of it, man. They don't really care about who did what and all that. I mean, at the end of the day, the order's the order. Littlefingers in charge. Wow. Dude, um, and also, Joel Bryn, I'm going to keep calling him that because, I, I, you know, he is Joel to me. That is Joel to me. I don't care if he's over and he's Joel to me because I She's love real passionate. About I love last of us, you guys, but he's going to fight for Tyrion. And the thing is, I don't really know if he's a good fighter, but he's going up against someone who they have literally, they chose episode seven to give like a notorious name as a fighter. Like all we know is the mountains like about it. Right. Yeah, man. So I was thinking the show was about to do something really out there and make Tyrion fight the mountain. No, man, we got us a champion in the house and he thinks that it's just a perfect opportunity to just right all the wrongs uh, for his house and to get his revenge. For his sister, yeah. Yeah, because, oh, well, I'm not going to repeat what happened to her, but um, it wasn't, wasn't good at all. So Yeah, I was jacked completely. Yeah. Um, and Tywin said he's responsible for it categorically, whatever that he means. He categorically denies it. Yeah. Right. Well, that was this is getting insane, but I think something, something that was, like, important to me in this was, like, not only Arya and the Hounds, like, little, like, when they Rendezvous, had that, yeah. when they had that really nice moment together, but I think something that actually was very special to me was that Hot Pie came back, and he let um, Brienne know that Arya was still alive. Yeah, and I think that's crazy because you know anyone in Westeros does not know that. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's confused about Arya; they just think it's Sansa. So I guess that's like a breath of fresh air to everyone, maybe. Yeah, that definitely like relights the fire. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. for Brienne, uh, restores her purpose, lets her know that she's on the right track at least. Um, this. You know what really wouldn't surprise me? What? Like, what if he loses? Right? What if? Oh, what if Joel Brynn loses? Tyrion has to go to the Wall, 
And then the rest of the show is Tyrion no, and Jon No, I John's think Tyrion gets killed, right? I thought that if you do trial by combat, it's your head if you lose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, man, maybe Tyrion should have just went to the wall and rekindled with Jon. Remember well, that conversation they had about yeah, being some Yeah, it was some a sweet conversation, yeah. but I think Tyrion kind of said, like, you know when he went to the wall and peed off it? Yeah. I think he was kind of like, I'm not doing I'm not. Just no. Yeah, that wall yeah. is twice as tall to Tyrion. But he's just like, just no. Like, I'll take my chances fighting the mountain myself before I do that. Absolutely. Um, Incredible episode. Let's get into the next one. Oh, the battle. Oh, it's this episode. <gasps> the mountain and the viper. Oh, well, baby was crying this morning. They do that. I don't know if you know that. Wipe me up. I'm sorry he woke you up. I don't care if you're sorry. Keep that baby quiet. Oh, I will. Don't you ever touch him. Little wildling bitch. You should have stayed with your own kind. Rude. Are you listen to me. Shut your mouth. It's just a now, you dumb bitch. <laughs> no, it's not. What is about to pop off right now? It's a sign or something. Aren't owls signs for bad omens, apparently? Uh-oh. Is it those cannibal dudes? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Fins and what's his name? Thorman Giant's main. They might take Castle Black, man. Oh my God, are they gonna Gilly though? That's what I'm saying. They're stressed about. And they just made a point about how the baby was crying. You know what I'm saying? They're probably going to hear it. Man, she would hear it too. Oh my gosh. My heart. Look at all that blood. I should never have left her there. You couldn't have known. Of course I could have known. The brothers had orders to stay at Castle Black. Oh, so it's all right then. Black Jack. Too many damn Kent orders. Molly chopped to pieces because they brought the rule. I'm saying they shouldn't have been there. We can't even guard Moore's town. We can't go after them. You know that. It's what they want. Little Sam. Maybe she managed to hide herself. I thought all of you was dead. You went up north with Mormon and no one came back. Not for ages. But then you did. She survived Craster. He was the worst shit I've ever met. <laughs> she survived a white walker for sake she's a survivor she might have got out <laughs> she might have if they hit moles down then we're next Mance and his army must be close 105 of us left whoever dies lost be a good lad and burn the rest of us so i'm done with this world i don't want to come back man i drink to that too dang why is this feeling like so scary to me like the end you know they're really painting a scene like this whole entire landscape over there is just being ravaged you think he was spying on you no, not spying. The Dothraki think outsiders are ridiculous taking shame in the naked body. They make love under the stars for the whole Kalisar to see. They really do. They're so crazy. <laughs> They're crazy over there. Well, I don't see why it matters. Grey Worm isn't interested. None of the Unsullied care what's under our clothes. He was interested. When the slavers castrate the boys, did they take all of it? The pillar and the stones? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever wondered? Yes. Oh, so she just said she kind of likes him too, in a way. Yeah. She said there's just one little problem. The lessons you give I in common tongue. You give I. <laughs> These are precious to I. To me. To me. I don't remember teaching you the word precious. Juradi Andal, he teaches I. He teaches me this word. Do you remember the name you were given at birth? I remember nothing, only on Sally. When they cut to you, do you remember that? I'm sorry they did that to you. Why? Why sorry? It's a terrible thing to do to a boy. If the masters never cut me, I never am on Sally. I never stand in the plaza of pride when Daenerys Stormborn orders us to kill the master. I never am chosen to lead the unsullied. Also, he values that. I never that. meet Missande from the island of North. Aww. If none of that happened, he wouldn't be where he is, and he like respects that. Well, interesting take, Grey Worm. Yeah. I am sorry, I for today. I already feel frustrated for him, to be honest. Like I can just imagine how annoying that'd be. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if Daenerys is gonna like like that they are taking their eye off the prize. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kraken, wrong. As long as they're in the sea, when you take them out of the water, no bones. They collapse under their proud weight, lump into a heap of nothing. You'd think they'd know that. Unfortunately, they're not very bright. <laughs> oh, he's talking about what Theon, but them? talking about a sigil at the same time. And Theon Greyjoy, son of Balon, heir to the Iron Islands. And what are you really? I'm Reek. Are you sure? I hope he says it just like Theon that, so they know he's like compromised. Lord, formidable, proud. I'm Reek. Until when? Always. Until you're rotting in the ground. Bring me Moat Kaelin. 
Just fight this man, Theon. Oh my god. I will go and make Mokela and be like, Ramsay Snow sucks. Go get him, please. He cut my man's parts off. Send him to my dad. Well, that place looked a lot cooler in the intro. <laughs> I know. Who are you? Man, I wanted to see that part. Yeah, the Greyjoys are holding it up, right? The mm -hmm. Ironborn. I'm Kenning, commander of this garrison. And you say you're Theon Greyjoy. Yes, I was born on Pike to Balon Greyjoy, his third and last living son. I am your prince. I swear it by the drowned god. What is dead may never die. And if you were my prince, why are you marching with the Bolton army? Lord Bolton took me captive after Winterfell. He has sent me to treat with you in good faith as your fellow Ironborn. And what does Lord Bolton want? You are badly outnumbered. And you're hundreds of miles from the sea. Lord Bolton implores you to protect your men and abandon this fortress you can no longer hold. Do this, and he will be just and fair with you as he has been with me. He wants us to surrender. My own father, your king, surrendered years ago to Robert Baratheon. I watched him bend the knee. There was no shame there. He fought with honor, as did you. I'm sorry I didn't hear. Mm. No shame, fought with honor. Only a whip dog would speak this way. Or a woman. Is he crying? Are you a woman, boy? You don't know. The Ironborn will not surrender. You go tell your master that. Beyond gray joy. Or whoever the oh my fuck gosh. you are. When hell are you muttering? <laughs> well, dang. He said, speak for yourself, bro. We yield, we live. Is that what he says on this paper here? Yes. Have your men raised the white flag and open the gates? You're going home. Oh my god, I'm scared because I don't believe that. Yeah, Ramsey's a freak. He's a psycho. Yeah. That's him right there. <laughs> I just can't with this dude, man. Traditions are important. And it's all Theon's fault. That's why I don't feel bad for him. Yes, my lord. Will we go home now? Wow. I believe we will. To our new home. <laughs> Crazy, bro. That guy is psycho, man. That was like You have foreign blood, don't you, Baelish? A great grandfather from Bravos, yes. I suppose all of our ancestors came from somewhere else originally. Our forebears settled the Vale thousands of years ago. Lady Aaron often told me that you were a rock, Lord Royce. Well, she told me nothing about you, Baelish. But I didn't need to hear from her. You've been licking Tywin Lannister's boots so long as I wonder your tongue's not black. My lord. <laughs> and when John Aaron named you Master of Coin, no one cared. Always been a grubby job. Lady Aaron invited me. She and I have been close since childhood. Yes, we all know how close you were. Lady Aaron's predilections were her own affair, her death is our affair. Of course, sir. She was an odd fish. Everyone knew that. But she adored that boy of hers. I don't see her abandoning him, not by choice. Strange that within days of your arrival, you've married Lady Aaron, and she's mm. fallen through the moon door. We were told there was a witness, a girl. A niece of yours, I believe. Uh-oh. Girl with no learning and scattered wits, I assure you she would be of no help. We'd like to speak with her. The question is, what is she going to say? No need. We prefer to hear her testimony unadulterated. Well, he did save her, so maybe she might. Yeah, he but, saved her twice. Yeah, but at the same time, like, he saved he's her responsible for the slaughter of her family, essentially. How much does but she know? She I'm don't not sure. know that. She don't know. Lord Baelish here is your uncle. Perhaps you would feel more comfortable if Lord Baelish left the room. My lady. I wasn't asking you. <laughs> Tell us what you saw. Sorry, Lord Baelish. Don't snitch on him. Tell the truth. Here we go. My name's not Elaine. Mm. It's Sansa Stark, eldest daughter of Lord Eddard Stark. Lord Royce, we met when you came to. I was about her. to say he's familiar. You were supporting your son Sir Waymar to the wall. Lord Baelish has told many lies. That's what you get. Wow. All to protect me. What? Since my father was executed, I have been a hostage in King's Landing, a plaything for Joffrey to torture or Queen Cersei to torment. They beat me they humiliated me they married me to the imp i had no friends in king's landing except one. Oh my gosh that man's a hell of a kisser he smuggled me away when he had the chance he knew i'd be safe here in the eyrie with my own blood my aunt lysa he made me swear not to tell anyone my true name your secret is safe with us tell us what happened to your aunt you knew her well my lords my lady you knew she was a troubled woman she always loved Lord Baelish. She told me herself. From the moment he arrived at the gates of Riverrun, she confessed to me she never loved Lord Arryn. My aunt was a jealous lady. She was terrified that he would abandon her for a younger woman. And then one day she saw him 
kiss me. It was a peck on the cheek, Lord Royce, nothing more. Lord Baelish is my uncle now, in truth, by marriage. He's always been so kind to me. I was so happy to be here, to be free, all because of him. I feel like she's manipulating them, too, by saying her so they can help her. Me, Maybe she's starting to play the game a little bit. Right. Through the moon door. When Lord Baelish tried to calm her, she struck him. She said she didn't want to live anymore. She stood on the edge of that moon door. She stepped through those doors. And she was... They're eating that it's up, beautiful. boy. Oh, sweet girl. <laughs> this better not be the start of a romance right here. I know. You can see it in the way she raised that boy, feeding him from her own teats when he was 10 years old. And you as well, Baelish. We uh, treated him a bit harshly. You want justice, Lord Royce? I can hardly complain about that. I want the same. And only 20 years ago, the Knights of the Vale rode behind John Aaron, Ned Stark, Robert Brath. And since then, Aaron and Royce, Corbray, Wainwood, all the great houses of the Vale watched from the corner a timid boy at a tavern brawl. Are you questioning our courage? I mean, do you support the Lannisters, the house that executed your friend, Ned Stark? Well, of course we don't support the damn Lannisters. No. And Catelyn Stark begged her sister for support and Lysa refused. She did. By staying out of the fray, you've allowed Tywin Lannister to destroy his rivals on every compass point. Who would you have us back, Lord Baelish? Rob Stark is dead. I'd have you back. <laughs> Robin Aaron, Lord of the Vale. Robin Aaron is a sickly little boy. And sickly little boys sometimes become powerful men. More often, they die young. I adored Lysa with all my heart. She loved her son so much she became overprotective. He needs to learn how to swing a sword, how to ride a horse. Is he manipulating them to yes. get them to be like, oh, you should do it. You should Time teach him. Tour the vale yeah, it seems like you're right. He's trying to get a point in right now. Time for Robin to leave the nest. To leave the nest, huh? So he's trying to get him out of there. I, I'm not sure what he wants. So he's tricky, man. So far it's done. Yes. Who sent you? Oh. What is it? I don't know. I don't recognize it. I think it's new. You better read something out loud. Have I forgotten a council meeting? No. What's this? A royal pardon signed by Robert Baratheon. Whoa. He can go west? Remember, he was banned. Mm hmm So he's been able to go home for a while. You spied on her. Oh, so he caught him. Who gave you this? Does it matter? He didn't go to Daenerys at first. He went to him. So what's that show, y'all? Like, loyalty. Have you told her? I wanted to tell you first, man to man, rather than go behind your back. Let me speak with her in private. You'll never be alone with her again. Yo, that complicates everything. And ever since Dahario Naharish, he does not want her out of his sight. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Why did the usurper pardon you? If we get to speak alone. No, speak to me here. Who do you think sent this to Marine? Who profits? This is the work of Tywin Lannister. He wants to divide us. There you go. If we're fighting each other, we're not fighting him. Pardon was signed the year we met. Why were you pardoned? Unless you're saying this document was forged? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is not forged. Why then? I send letters to Varys, the spy master of King's Landing. What was the content of these letters? Information. What information? When you and Viserys arrived in Pentos, his plan to marry you to Khal Drogo. When you were married, when your brother died. You told them I was carrying Drogo's child? I, yes or no? Calisa. Don't call me that. Did you tell them I was carrying Drogo's oh, child? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. That wine merchant tried to poison me. I stopped you from drinking his wine. Because you knew it was poisoned. I suspected. You betrayed me from the first. Yeah, but then he made up for it. Right? I yeah, he did. I have loved you. Love? How can you say that to any other man? I would have you executed, but you, I do not want you in my city dead or alive. Go back to your masters in King's Land and collect your pardon if you can. That hurts my feelings. I man. know. Yeah. I'm so Please. sad. Don't, you have until dusk to collect your things and leave this city. If you found in Marine past break of day, I'll have your head thrown into Slaver's Bay. She's being so merciful, though. You better go. She is hurt. I'm hurt. Because he, right the minute he started believing in her, he stopped. You know, we knew that he was spying on the low early, but we just forgot about that. Like, we no, I, I didn't forget. I just knew he stopped doing it. Because remember, Varys was like, I'm not getting in contact with him anymore. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. That's crazy. Where is he going to go? Hmm. <sighs> That makes my feelings hurt. It really does. It really does. Moat Kaelin is yours, father. Yeah, thanks to Theon. Walk with me. Has there been any word from Locke? No. <laughs> Unimportant. A cripple. A young boy. Dead, most likely. Most of the Ironborn have fled the north. Now more will follow, thanks to you. Tell me what you see. Wars. Fields. Hills. Tell me what you see. Nothing. 
Not nothing. The north. Right, 700 miles that way, you're still on the... 400 miles that way. 300 miles that way. The north is larger than the other six kingdoms combined. Ooh. I am the warden of the north. This is so desolate, right? The north is mine. <laughs> Yeah. And only northerners like Tell north. me, what is your name? Ramsey Snow. No, not Ramsey Snow. Open it. Did he Ooh. just get adopted? Did he got a promotion. You are Ramsey Bolton. Let's go. Bruce Bolton. Why Warden are you let's north. going? Because. I hate y'all. You honor me. Nah, I want to see his. I, will uphold your name I want to see him rise up to fall. I will be worthy of you, Father. He just flayed all them people at Moat Caitlin. Like, I hate him. Crazy. Look at the white horse. You see that? I'm just trying to be consistent with liking Joffrey. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Theon just keeps being in the north, don't he? That sounds kind of tough, though. Ramsay Bolton? Like, that sounds cooler than Ramsay Snow. Yeah, for sure. I think it's cool, kind of, that a bastard got that promotion, though. Like, no one cares about a bastard, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it's kind of cool that the Bolton guy was like, let's give him a shot, I guess. Because I guess in terms of war, that thing with, that he did to Theon work just sucked. First time I saw you, you were just a child. Girl from the north come to the capital for the first time. You're not a child any longer. Mm -mm, don't do this weird stuff. Why did you help me? They would have thrown you through the moon door if they found you guilty. They'd have executed you. What would they have done with me? Better to gamble on the man you know than the strangers you don't. And you think you know me? I know what you want. Do you? Everything. Because he don't even know. I thought it would make me happy. So it was a little manipulation. I'm glad to see her putting a foot in the game. Things make me happy. Like what? Killing Polliver, killing Raj. So you're sad because you didn't get to kill Joffrey yourself. At least I could have been there to watch. See the look in his eyes when he knew it was over. You protected him for most of his life. You think you could have saved him? It wasn't the damn wine taster. Little shit deserved to die, but poison's a woman's weapon. Men kill with steel. That's your stupid pride talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have killed Joffrey with a chicken bone if I had to. I'd pay good money to see that. You really think my aunt will pay for me? Aye, she'll pay. She it did. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're our blood, family, honor, all that horse shit. <laughs> all you lords and ladies ever talk about. I'm not a lady. Who would pass the bloody gate? The bloody hound, Sander Clegane, and his traveling companion. Arya Stark, niece of your lady Lysa Arryn. Then I offer my condolences. Lady Arryn died. He's pissed. <laughs> He's like, always. My silver. Three days ago. You just missed her. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she laughing? He's like, man, we're, we're hurt. Arya. <laughs> she just like, can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, what's the irony? To leave. Lord of the Vale belongs in the Eyrie, mother said. Everybody dies sooner or later. And don't worry about your death. Worry about your life. Take charge of your life for as long as it lasts. That is what it means to be Lord of the Vale. Thanks, step dad. Great advice. Oh, this is like creeping me out though. Oh, but she got a little upgrade. Look at her. She looks like Melisandre. Shall we go? Wine always helps. I thank you for it. Trial by combat. Deciding a man's guilt or innocence by having two other men hack each other to pieces tells you something about the gods. Red Viper of Dawn. You don't get a name like that unless you're deadly, right? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oberyn believes in himself. That's putting it mildly. Let's go, Joel. Bring you got punishment this. for regicide? Drawing and quartering? Hanging? Breaking at the wheel? Beheading. Seems rather ordinary. And he was my nephew as well. So what is that? You think that's a sound effect or you think he's actually peeing? <laughs> nah, sound effect. <laughs> the sound effect might be real peeing kind though. Of killing <laughs> doesn't have its own word. There is no word for cousin killing. Well done. Do you remember cousin Orson? Orson Lannister? Of course. Wet nurse dropped him on his head and left him simple. Simple? Sit all day in the garden crushing beetles with a rock. Nothing made him happier. Nothing made you happier. Laughing at another person's misery was the only thing that made me feel like everyone else. <laughs> thin, though. For you, you drifted away. I had other interests. Yes, other interests. Sisterly ones. Mm -hmm. I stayed with Olsen. I was curious. Why was he smashing all those beetles? Why did he get out of it? First thing I did was ask him, Why are you smashing all those beetles? He gave me an answer. Smash the beetles! Smash them! I went to Maester Valeric's library. Valeric? Tried to touch me once. Turns out, not much has been written about great men, and not nearly enough about morons. Doesn't seem right. In any case, I found nothing that illuminated the nature of Orson's affliction, or the reason behind his relentless beetle slaughter. I may not have been able to speak with Orson, but I could observe him, watch him, the way men watch animals to come to a deeper understanding of their behavior. And as I watched... That's a roly-poly-oly. more and more sure of it. There was something happening there. His face was like the page 
of a book written in a language I didn't understand, but he wasn't mindless, he had his reasons. And I became possessed with knowing what they were. I would eat my lunch in the garden, chewing my mutton to the music of coo coo coo. When I wasn't watching him, I was thinking about him. Father droned on about the family legacy, and I thought about Orson's Beatles. I read the histories of Targaryen conquest. This better have a good point. No, I know, my word. And I still couldn't figure out why he was doing it. And I had to know, because it was horrible that all these Beatles should be dying for no reason. Who gives a dusty? about a bunch of Beatles. I know, I know, but still, it filled me with dread. Piles and piles of them, years and years of them. How many countless living, crawling things smashed and dried out and returned to the dirt? In my dreams, I found myself standing on a beach made of beetle husk. I woke up crying, weeping for their shattered little bodies. I tried to stop Olsen once. He was twice your size. He just pushed me aside with a coon and kept on smashing. <laughs> Every day, until that mule kicked him in the chest and killed him. <laughs> what? <laughs> What was that story? <laughs> Why was he smashing them though? Maybe he'll just never know. Maybe that's the answer to the story. What do you think? Why did he do it? Just because he could? What was it all about? What was that story? Maybe he's just saying like sometimes people just do bad things and there's not really much of a reason. They're just bad. That guy just liked to smash beetles. So that's just what he did. Good luck today. And you can drive yourself nuts wondering and you just might not ever get the answer. Right. And he's probably wondering like why he has to die for this shitty family. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. I just want to find some symbolism of some goodness somewhere. Where is it at? <gasps> Look at Cersei there, I mean. Her hair looks good. Yeah, it does. Looks like very light armor. I like to move around. You could at least wear a helmet. You shouldn't drink before a fight. You learn this during your years in the fighting pits. <laughs> I always drink before a fight. It could get you killed. It could get me killed. Today is not the day I die. What if he goes in there stiff? He said today is not the day I die. That? I'm going to kill that. Let's go. I'm leaning towards Oberyn right now. I've ever seen. Size does not matter when you are flat on your back. Thank the gods. <laughs> In the sight of gods and men, we gather Shut to up. Tyrion basically just said that's what she said. <laughs> Without saying it, yeah. Man, Tyrion Lannister. May the mother grant them mercy. May the father give them such justice as they deserve. May the warrior guide the hand of our champion <laughs> it... <laughs> doing the horn over his butt we don't want to hear it <laughs> his paramour look how big his sword is leave me alone in this world never let's go okay. got both staff skills do you think the mountain's like um <laughs> uh excuse me look time was not impressed at all oh she's nervous have they told you who i am some dead man <laughs> I am the brother of Elia Martel. And you know why I've come all the way to this stinking shit pile of a city? <laughs> For you? <laughs> I'm going to hear you confess before you die. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it now and we can make this quick. I'm really stressed right now. Sir Gregory can't touch him. Murdered her? <laughs> Dang. My man's gonna make himself tired over here. Nah, he's trying to show everyone he trained. Is <laughs> he <Lucy> Jamie? <laughs> you murdered her! You killed her children! You better grab that dagger. She's nervous. She's making Tyrion's me nervous. nervous. Forget her. She just knows him better than Tyrion. That's why I'm... Yeah, but this is for his head, though. <gasps> Let's go! No way! You murdered her! Put him down. Oh! Let's go! Let's go. Yeah, screw that guy, man. You killed her children! Yes, that was a good Let's jump. Let's go. That scared me when a sword came up. I thought you stabbed him. No, no, no. You can't die yet. You haven't confessed. Oh, you better just kill him. In it, in it, in it. Say her name. Elia Martel. You killed her children. Elia Martel. Who gave you the order? Say her name. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it. Say her name. Say She's it! A oh! oh. Elia Martel! Oh! I killed oh, her children! Oh! Smash her head! Get like this! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was nuts, dude! Oh! oh. Cersei's loving it! Tyrion! Tyrion. Gods have made their will known. No, no, they ain't. Look at his face! 
the name of King Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of his name, you're hereby sentenced to death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he had the dub. He had the dub, man, and then he wants to talk. Wow. Unbelievable, man. So he had the dub, and then he just, he's like, no, 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 you're going to confess. You got the. You just had to hear it, right? You got the monster slayed, man. You were about to rid the world of one of the most awful people. Exactly, man. Like, oh my gosh. And then, to be honest, man, you got to give you got to give a big shout out to Sir Gregor Clegane, man. He was rocked. He was against the fence, but just like Adesanya against Pereira, man, he came back swinging, got the knockout. Uh, good fight. Unbelievable episode. What did you think, babe? I think that that was like because. The just the feeling of Tyrion's face, like in that last scene right there, is exactly how I felt. I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like I thought it was over, and I I was happy for Tyrion. I, I mean, was he gonna survive in that? Like, what was it gonna happen if he won? You know, are they just gonna accept him back? No. Insert the insert the Richard Sherman meme. You know, when they lose the Super Bowl to the Patriots, where Malcolm Butler picks the ball off. You guys know what I'm talking about. Some of my NFL fans, man. Insert the meme. You know, the Richard Sherman meme where he's just like. Because they got the Super Bowl one, like the game's won. It's like first and goal inside the two yard line, and they throw inside slants on stack coverage on the outside and get picked off. If it wasn't the Panthers, I didn't care. They gave away the Super Bowl basically, and that face that Richard Sherman made, you guys should look it up, man. It's gold. It's the same face that Tyrion made because his champion had it won for him, and he lost because of his pride and his ego. And that's just well, he just oh, my he gosh. just wanted the justice so bad that he just like. Let it slip by him like, good God. Well, he, that's what he came there for. He had it. He had yeah. it. He could have just killed he him, but it. instead he wanted to like, he wanted to gloat and make it all about his moment. He he was more concerned with putting on a show for King's Landing than just right. finishing that and guy. And cover man. your ears real quick. If y'all are Last of Us fans, how bad did that hurt? Because for me, that really hurt to see Pedro Pascal in that same freaking position. Anyways, well, you know, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about if you're Last of Us fans. So I guess uh, in Last of Us, that the mountain comes in and kills Pedro Pascal. So I'm gonna be looking for that. There fight hasn't scene. been there hasn't been a season two of Last of Us. So I don't I don't know, but if if you're a fan of Last of Us, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, yeah, we are watching that, but I didn't know. So he dies. I don't know. You didn't hear it. Anyways, man, crazy episode. What else happened in it, babe? Help us out. <laughs> Basically. Oh. Jorah. Oh yeah, that's, Jorah, that's so you guys. Sad, man. Oh man. I, the thing I'm wondering though, how did that kid from Mirren get that information? Who did he get it from? Is he a little bird for Varys? Maybe so. Yeah. So Varys is trying to set he's trying to divide them? Yeah, absolutely. Because his oh, you know, his thing God. has always been he wants to protect the realm. And what's the worst thing for the realm? Daenerys with dragons, right? Because, I mean, history shows what happens to the realm when there's dragons. So, I think Varys is wise and he's trying to prevent that. Right. It's so sad to see Jorah go, man. Because um, I don't I don't know what's going to happen to him. I, where is, is he going to go back? Like, I hope not. I hope he really, like, was loyal to her cause and just, like, lives out his days on his own. Well, something. he is loyal to her cause, per se, but, like. I know what you're saying. What's he going to do now? I hope he doesn't now, go to Westeros and just turn, you know? Isolation seems like death there. Right. Right. Um, and he can't serve her if he's dead. So, man, I don't know, man. What happens to Tyrion? Is he really going to get beheaded? I don't know. Well, Cersei made a, 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 a statement earlier that given the chance, he'll weasel his way to freedom. Which he, if you think about it, Tyrion kind of has weaseled his way throughout through freedom. Like, he got Lots knocked out. Yeah. He got knocked out in that battle. Um, he got Bronn to fight for him. He was in that prison that you couldn't escape in the very beginning when he was being held right. by Lady Catelyn. Uh huh. Man, yeah. So he has squirmed his way, but Tyrion's a cockroach. How many is he gonna? How many um is he gonna squirm his way out of? Like, is what's gonna happen? Like his luck has to run out. Right. The show has a very realistic undertone, so even when it gets away from reality a little bit, like it always brings you back to like. A boy, like, like a basic reality, man. And and Tyrion just can't keep getting lucky. He's not that lucky. He's not that right. blessed by the and gods. The, right? And if you think about it, the Prince of Dorne just like sacrificed his life. <gasps> I just thought about it. The Prince of Dorne just died in the hands of the Lannisters. Their daughter is there. Yeah, yeah. That is like, she could get killed. Yeah. And, and that would be another war. And I don't think it's going to matter that he volunteered. I don't know if that narrative is going to matter. No. I mean, all that's going to matter is he's dead. You know, Right, because like that's... 
a potential heir to the Dorn like kingdom or whatever. I don't know if they do it like that there. You know, that's still a place to be explored because, you know, they they say it's ran differently there. But geez, like that hurt my feelings. Like That was the worst part. Man, every episode that we're hitting in this season is one of the shocking, like one of the most shocking moments. Like there was so many shocking moments leading up into the Red Wedding, you know, especially the beheading of Ned. And then when they paraded his head on the on the spikes and then, you know, with Sansa and then when Sansa was laying there and Joffrey had her at the crossbow, of course. But, dude, we're getting those shocking moments every 30 minutes right, right. now. And, and this is. And, you know, it's crazy to think about, like these shocking moments are happening. They're happening here. They're happening there. We forget about like other things, like we forget about Stannis. We, we forget, forget about, about the Littlefinger. We, yeah. we didn't even talk about that right now. I mean, oh yeah, one of the biggest topics we got to discuss. Yeah, we do, because this man is this man is just on to something. Guys, He's- I'm so sorry if we're a little too enthusiastic. If we're too into this show, uh, I really apologize about that. I hope we're not getting on your nerves, you know. But big fans, it, shows, I'm excited. This is like really like our reaction right after. So like I'm sure right after you guys were like kind of frantic all over the place, just like saying. This and that, like that's kind of how I feel. Like it, I feel like I just am so excited to express how I. Melisandre said to, um, Stannis's wife, and to Stannis basically that the daughter needs to come. That stresses me out. Right, she'd be burning it sounds people. like a sacrificial thing, or, or maybe they need to leech her with some <laughs> blood or something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. So what's this? Yeah, man, we just basically, man, we saw it. We got our reaction. So much to cover. I, I can't even remember everything we just saw. Well, you know. hey, when the fans came to cover. Right. Right. When Arya and the Hound went there, what happened after that? Do you remember? It didn't show us, right? It didn't show. It just showed she died. Arya laughing. That's the end, right? That's all you That's all we saw. Yeah, I don't think they've even gotten inside yet. But yeah. Because that moment with Arya and Sansa is going to be. Was she about to walk down to see Are Sansa? we going to get that moment? I don't know. That's what watch? I'm saying. Like, is the next moment going to be. Because Sansa was like, We haven't like, seen Are them together ready? since season one. Early right, season one. Yeah. And so I remember Sansa was like, Are you ready? No, no, no. Yeah, it was early season it was one. Season one. It was when because the last exchange that we saw with those two together is when is when Ned got beheaded. Arya had to leave, and that was the, no, that no, was no. The end. But the last time we saw Sansa and Arya together was when it was Ned. Her, they were like eating dinner with like they were in King's Landing at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, she was in King's Landing. Yeah, it, man, it's just been too long, dude. It's been too long. So I don't know if that's where Sansa and Littlefinger are about to walk down to go see. Maybe I don't know because when she was laughing, I was like, "What the heck's going on here?" Yeah, but yeah, you're right. The Thins took over where Gilly is, and I think Gilly survived. I'm not really sure, but which is important. It was Eager who spared her, which was interesting. That really makes me kind of makes me like her character because, to be honest, up until this point, I haven't seen her reason. Well, to. you know what? It kind of gave me the vibe. Maybe she thinks she's pregnant because she spared someone with a baby. Yeah, because her and John hit that lagoon. Actually. Well, that's what I was thinking, but you know. Th- it, I, I could be wrong. I, it could just be because she like it was a decent thing. So maybe a be, little John influence rubbed off, and maybe right. somewhere deep in her cranium, she realized maybe I shouldn't kill a mother and her baby. Right. I yeah. was ho- it, I was thinking it could be symbolic for that, or maybe it was just a decent thing. So absolutely, I don't know if, what that says about Egret's character because she's a wildling. She yeah. recognized wildling. Oh, she looked okay, at her and recognized yeah. she was a wildling. I think. Yes. Do you know I didn't saying? even think about that, and right. yeah, that's a whole other thing. So would could she be, know that off one glance? It could be it could be any of those. Right. Though. I think your yeah. theory about her uh, and John in the cave and she could be pregnant. Right. Well, I mean, like, I I don't know how you know, like she might not know, but, you know, she did partake in the intercourse to lead to that. So, you know, maybe it could, maybe it couldn't. But we didn't see the dragons in this episode. We haven't seen the dragons in a minute. OK, so, guys, uh, uh, great recap. That was fun. So where are we going, babe? What's your theory? Okay. Where like. So not necessarily next episode, but are you talking about like overall theory? What's my theory right now? For if you look four? at the landscape of of this universe right now, six months from now, what does it look like? OK, so what the Ramsey and the Roos scene to me opened up a big thing because I I, it's going to be a cold day in hell when Ramsey Snow was in charge of the dang north. All of it. The north, which used to be a place that was the land of honor. It was different. It was ran by the Starks. They respected the wall. Now, they respected it, now it's other. completely just a degenerate place. Because now it's like, stand up to me and I'm going to put you on an X and cut your skin off. And Yeah, ugh. absolutely. Well, anyways, what I think is like... I, <laughs> something's got to give over there. We got to defeat them. You There's know too much cutting nuts off in this show for yeah. me to be comfortable. To be honest, like I don't know. I just Ugh. think. I just think. 
I think Littlefinger is going to have some type of success somewhere because Sansa kind of is teaming up with him. And I don't know if it's going to lead Sansa to betray him. I don't know if it's going to lead her to. But I feel like Sansa is going to be someone bigger to me. You know, I, I really just asked you to do the impossible as I'm sitting here thinking right. about how I want this sh- or what I think this show is going to look like. I mean, I could get into it more, but it's really hard to say. Um, yeah, because the thing is, when Stannis and Davos went to that bank thing, we didn't get any like any like anything. Yeah, from because that. the gold's running low in Westeros. Right. And- but there was something going to happen with that and we haven't seen it yet. Well, we haven't really progressed the Stannis story much. Right, and that's what I'm saying. So it's hard for me to really predict when I haven't seen Stannis kind of like, because Melisandre and Stannis to me, something's got to give with that because I feel like they're building something up there and I feel like it's going to impact the show in some type of way. I know one thing, dude. I don't know if Tyrion's going to live or die, but if I really had to guess, I'm going to assume he's going to live somehow or another. Right. I think he'll he's weasel his way. He's too big of a main character. It seems like if, because guys, if we think about it outside of the show, like if we think of, because ultimately like it's a business, you know, it's the Game of Thrones business. So I don't see how killing Tyrion's good for business, but I didn't see how killing two bees was good for business. Right. But I guess at that point. But I think he just is going to have to escape. Someone's going to have to help him. I, I don't even know where I'm going, man. I'm just so all over the place. But I think what I'm basically trying to say is the show is really giving me this feeling that the Lannister house is becoming a house divided. So something's going to have to happen with this. And right. we're seeing that there is changing of the tides all over this universe right now, especially in the North. And everyone's world. Daenerys's, right. the North, the Lannisters, Dorne it's, now. Tyr- Tywin's whole thing was about protecting the family legacy. And it's all about basically saying it's all about your PR, right? Like, you know, because ultimately respect is a hierarchy in this, you know, in this universe. So just with the house being divided, man, I just see opportunities to weaken the house. But I'm not really seeing someone that I want to emerge and be victorious other than like Daenerys, really. Right. I mean, right. And she's got her own flock of problems. She's just kind of the obvious choice say, right but, now. Cause yeah. Be, but it's only because she's not there to mess with the, the drama. Like she's at her own drama. But that drama is more like, you know, like she's dealing with more like people owning slaves and stuff. She's not dealing with like. It's a completely different right, set of problems. Yeah. Absolutely. And and to me, like, oh, my gosh, like, where do we go from here, babe? Like, it's complicated, man. Very complicated. Oh, my God. I don't I don't know what to think. So I, I feel like there's going to have to be a battle um, at the wall. At, at some yeah, point. that's coming. Like, that's yeah. coming. Something's got to give with that. But um, I guess winter's coming, man. So. We're just sort of at the point in the show where... Yeah, but where we haven't talked about winter is coming in since that baby got changed, really. Right, it's like the show's leaving that on the back burner. It's like every time, it's like it's catching you here, it's catching you here, wop, it's catching it's, you here. You know, you know who it's like? It's like on X-Men, it's like Mystique. Everything happens and then Mystique happens. It's like... That's what yeah. it reminds me of. You're caught off guard by Mystique at any moment. I think the craziest thing, man, is just the fact that Littlefinger was so bold to to make such a move like that. Um, and that was the a thing Varys was scared of. Varys was scared of Littlefinger achieving what he just achieved. Right. So he got an army now. <gasps> he just got an army. That's yeah, he what he wanted. And he sent away the the heir to the Vale. I don't know where he went though. And the army that he has is fundamentally opposed to the Lannisters. Though. Yes. So then again, like that's what I'm saying. You can sort of see everything coming full circle to bite the Lannisters in the ass. So right. So maybe Littlefinger goes and teams up with Stannis. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just ready to watch more of it, guys. Thank you so much for supporting it, like always. Um, you Absolutely guys loving awesome this. this so. Lo- season four has been nothing but like twists and turns and nuts. I would. I mean, it, it's hard to say, but this is. I think I'm having the most fun in this season. Mm. It's hard to say that this is the best season. I know one thing. Someone, like I said before, man, someone has said there's something so simple and magic about the first season. And in hindsight, I'm really starting to understand that. But I'm having more fun watching this season than I've ever had watching the show. But I'm also significantly more invested. So, you know, we'd really have to watch it again to really know. Yeah, we we talked about how in this season, the big thing that happened was in the second episode. And I think like... That's what makes this episode so good is like 
we're dealing with the aftermath of something so crazy and it's just getting crazier and crazier well, dealing with it. That's just real quick, man, before we get out of here. That's something I really like about the show. I really like the format of the mm -hmm. show. I like how it's it's short, it's to the point. I'm glad it's not like 22 episodes. Mm -hmm. There's like no filler in this at all. Everything's right. important, everything is meaningful. And yeah, man, like, I, geez, every episode is feeling like a season finale to me mm -hmm. right now. So, all right, guys, we'll see y'all next one.